Hi friends, Mr. Kipley here. I live in the state of Illinois, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready for spring. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Charlie. And today, we're gonna learn all about spring. Spring is one of our four seasons, and it comes right after winter, right? <laughs> now, the first thing you notice about spring is the weather. Now, I live in Illinois, and here in the Midwest, spring days are beautiful, warm, and sunny. Ah, wait a minute. No, I, I mean they're cold and snowy. <laughs> I mean they're they're stormy and wet. Yikes! Uh, no, wait a minute. No, I, actually they're sunny and warm. They, ah, well, whatever. You get the idea. Spring is the season when we transition from winter to summer, and the weather is constantly changing. Fog? Are you kidding me? The first day of spring is called the spring equinox. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, the first day of spring comes during the third week of March. When spring arrives, our part of the world starts getting more sunlight and the days seem longer. Wait a minute. Why do the days seem longer? There's still 24 hours, right? No, that's a good question, Charlie. The days aren't actually longer. It just seems that way because we get more sunlight. Have you ever noticed that the sun rises a bit earlier and sets a bit later every day in the spring? More sunlight is definitely a sign of spring. Let's find some more signs of spring. Signs of spring with Professor Smartfeller. Hello, friends. Thank you, computer. Yes, hello, it is me, Professor Smartfeller, and I'm here in the Springatorium looking for signs of spring. My favorite sign of spring is when animals I haven't seen all winter begin to return to my backyard. Where do they go in winter? Haha, <laughs> I will tell you, they migrate. That's right, birds, mammals, and even little insects migrate. That means they travel south where it's nice and warm during the winter, and in spring, they migrate back north again to my neighborhood. <laughs> Computer, please show everyone some of the animals that migrate to my neighborhood in spring. Sign of spring, hippopotamus. That's right. I know it's spring when I look out my window and I see a cute little hippopotamus hopping around in my yard. And wait a minute, the hippopotamus? <laughs> no, that's not right. Hippopotamuses don't appear in spring. Computer, please try again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sign of spring, polar bear. Yes, I know it's spring when I look out my window and I see a polar bear hopping around in my yard looking for worms. It would, no, wait a minute, a polar bear? Seeing a polar bear in your backyard is definitely not a sign of spring. I think computer is playing a trick on me. T. Hey. Hey. Okay, that's a funny joke, computer, but please show us a real sign of spring. Sign of spring. Red breasted robin. I know it's spring when I look out my window and I see a red breasted robin hopping around my yard looking for worms. Are robins a sign of spring? <laughs> yes, they are. Robins and many other birds migrate south in winter, and when spring arrives, they migrate back north. What new animals do you see in your neighborhood in spring? Hippopotamus. Ah, computer, come on. Have you ever wondered why we call it spring? In spring, we have more sunlight. Temperatures increase and snow melts. With more sunlight and water, plants begin to grow. Can you guess why we call the season spring? Hello, Oliver Bowles here. Spring is a busy time for many animals. We learned that some animals migrate, but other animals hibernate. That means they go into a deep sleep. Some animals hibernate all winter, and when spring arrives, they wake up. Turtles, frogs, chipmunks, bats, 
snails, prairie dogs, and bears are some of the animals that wake up from hibernation in spring. They wake up because the weather is warmer, plants are growing, and they can find food. Lots of insects also appear in spring. Have you ever noticed that? Insects hatch from eggs. Let's take a look at some eggs. Can you guess what kind of insects will hatch from these eggs? I'll give you some clues. When it hatches, it's a caterpillar. Then it makes a chrysalis. When it comes out, is it a giraffe or a butterfly? That's right! It's a butterfly! In spring, farmers plant their crops. Families enjoy outdoor activities like going to the park. Spring is a great time to go outside and see beautiful flowers. Baby animals are born in spring. Deer, moose, ducks, Robins and lambs are born in spring. Hey, why do you think so many animals have babies in spring? That's a good question to discuss with your class. For a list of more questions and information about spring, have your teacher click the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day at school, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!